EA Sports. It's in the game. NCAA Football 2005. Can't wait for this year's Toyota Gator Bowl to get underway. And we couldn't have asked for better weather for today's game between the Notre Dame Fighting Irish and the Hurricanes of Miami. And here come the Hurricanes. Hi, everybody, and welcome to our exciting EA Sports New Year's Day matchup. I'm Brad Nessler, and with me, Kirk Herbstreit and the incomparable Lee Corso. The Hurricanes are very confident coming into this one. They are definitely the favorites in my book, Kirk. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with you on this one, Brad. Notre Dame is going to have a tough time defending this rushing attack and this running back. It's very important that they shut him down and keep the ball out of his hands if they expect to have a chance in this game. Let me tell you why I agree with you. Miami loves to run the football, and that's how they win ball games. I think they're going to have a big game on the ground today. And Kirk, I agree with you. I think they win this one. No problem. this one underway as the teams have lined up for the opening kick and they'll be returning this one number 82 passes at the five <laughs> so start this drive at the 25 the Irish come out in a shotgun On the ground with the tailback. And down he goes. So the delayed handoff gets maybe a yard. Second and nine. Ball on their own 26. The fighting Irish come out showing three wide. And he stopped behind the line. It's an excellent job of the defense here to read the draw play. Yeah, the quarterback thought he could spread them out and find a hole for himself to run through. <laughs> they were having none of that, my friend. Third and 12 coming up on this one. Ball on the 23-yard line. The Irie set up in the gun. Steps up. He's looking. Over the middle. Picked off by the linebacker. He didn't throw it away under pressure, and it really cost him. It sure did. He saw that he was going to get hit and just threw one up for grabs. He's got to learn to take the sack. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. First and 10. Number three, lines up as a single back. They go with a toss. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Here the tailback had really nowhere to go. The defense does a good job of getting penetration, and they were able to wrap him up for a loss. It's second down and 12 to go. Ball on the 44. And they have three bunched. Handoff up the middle. He's into the open field. And he's tackled. 
What a run. Man, this kid can flat out fly. A lot of kids are fast, but there's not many guys out there that can run as fast as this kid in pads holding on to the football. I agree with you, Lee, and he has such a natural running style. First and 10. Ball on the 28-yard line. The Hurricanes line up with three wide. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Tackle. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 27-yard line. The Kane come out in the ace formation. He drops back. He lobs it left. And it's caught. He's hit and got away. And they make the stop. What a catch. And that's going to give him a first down. Well, that's a big play for the offense. But I think the defense needs to play a little bit tighter in the secondary. First and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. Let's see if their play calling changes now that they're in the red zone for the first time. And he's still on his feet. They grab eight yards there. Number seven comes to the line with three wide. Nice play fake. Batted ball. The corner made a good play on the ball. He sure did. This kid is very athletic. If he doesn't get a pick, he does his best to knock the ball down. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. They'll run for the first and third and short. And he's taken down. They convert the third down with that short run. Number seven with three wide receivers. Back to pass. Looks across the middle. My goodness, guys, that was a spectacular play by the wide receiver. The coach has gone to great lengths to shepherd his receivers, and we've seen the results on the field. the PAT. Here's the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. Number 33 looks ready to kick this one off. Number five, back deep to return. Kicks it off. Number five takes it from the six. Bounces off the would-be tackler. I'm sure the coach has talked to his team about not turning the ball over again in this possession. They'll take over at the 24. Miami lines up in a dime defense here. They'll throw on first down. Wants to throw outside. Couldn't haul it in. The tight end almost had that one. Second and ten. Ball on their own 24. Going with the shotgun here. And down he goes. Four yards gained on that quarterback draw. Right. 
It's third down and six to go. Ball on their own 28. McCain, line up at a nickelback. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Complete. They'll drop him for a loss. That's going to bring up fourth down. Just a great job by the defense. These guys are disguising their defense so well that they're confusing the quarterback and the offensive line. They send out the punting unit. He punts it. Number one signals for a fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 43. This is where I look for the defense to clamp down after some sloppy tackling the last time. They let this offense run all over them, all the way to the end zone, and I don't see that happening again. The Fighting Irish bring in the nickel package. They'll throw on first down, throws it to the outside. They'll bring him down. Good yardage there. That'll move the sticks. Nice time to call pass here. It looked like the defense might have been looking run. It's first and ten. Ball on the 45. Miami goes with the ace set here. Here's the give. And now he's got room to run. Oh, what a move. To the 20, to the 10, and he will score. And he tacks on the extra point. So down to just a few seconds left in the first quarter with a score. Miami, 14. Notre Dame, nothing. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it. Number five fields it at the 11. Not a whole lot of success their last time out. Not at all. This offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their breath. They'll get the ball here at the 25-yard line. Number four alone in the backfield. Keep it on the ground with a tailback. And they got him for a loss. A defensive end came through to put him away. Nice job of utilizing his athletic ability to get in there and then make a sure tackle. A long ways yet to go, but at the end of one, our score, Miami, 14, Notre Dame, nothing. So it's second and ten. Ball in the 25. Number 10 with four wide receivers. He's on the run. With the spin. And he's tackled. The halfback rips off a nice gain there to get him the first. Yeah, this guy's a good looking back. Let's see if they go to him again. It's first and 10, ball on the 39. They'll throw on first down. Throws this one out to the right. And it falls incomplete. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. Second and 10, ball on the 39-yard line. The Irish come out showing three wide. He drops back. Looking. Here comes the pressure. Someone got a hand on it. 
That one could have been an interception. For 85, the intended receiver on the play. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on their own 39. Miami lines up with five defensive backs. Drops back to pass. Wants to throw outside. It falls incomplete. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. The Fighting Irish line up the punt. Punts the ball away. Number one, fields it at the 30. Looks to me as though the offensive line is ready to run the ball some more. And that defensive line better be ready because if they aren't, they'll be giving up another touchdown drive. They'll, they'll go to work at the 35-yard line. First and 10. Number three, the lone back. They'll throw on first down. Throws it to the outside. Got it. And now he's got room to run to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Hurricane. He located his tight end and got him the ball for the touchdown. Uh, he was clearly the best target on that play. is the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Number 82. Here's the kick. Number 82 fields it at the seven. They're just about ready to get this drive started. After their last series had some promise, but it ended with a punt. First and ten. Ball on their own 29. First and ten. The Fighting Irish come out showing three wide. He's looking across the middle. The ball is tipped, and the corner got in there and broke that one up. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball of the 29. Notre Dame comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Back to pass. He's in trouble. They'll make the sack. He couldn't avoid the sack there, Coach. Yeah, that protection has got to get better because you don't want your quarterback to get smacked like that. Third down and a couple miles here. Ball on their own 23. Notre Dame comes out with an eye formation. Over the middle. Almost picked off. Now it's going to be fourth down. That's defense. That was picture perfect three and out. Good series for these guys. They come out in a punt formation. Number 19 punts it, and he didn't get much distance on it. Number one takes it at the 49. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. The They'll start this drive at the 49-yard line. First and 10. Number three, alone in the backfield. They'll throw on first down. Wants to throw outside. It's tipped. 
Great defensive play by the cornerback. So it's second and ten. Ball right around midfield. From the gun. He drops back. Looks. Here they come. Might want it all. Deep ball's got a man. And they bring him down. And he hauled that one in for a first down. Well, that's a big time play. Did an excellent job there of getting separation from the defender. And he's able to pull down that pass for quite a few yards. They're inside the 20. So their last red zone visit resulted in a touchdown. Let's see if the defense can hold them this time. A seven-yard run by the running back. They come out in a nickel. Setting up the play action. Throws it to the outside. Touchdown, Miami! This one has gotten out of hand. Usually we don't see games get real ugly until the second half, when the talent of the depth chart starts to show. But man, we're still here in the first half, and it's already looking like a blowout. place isn't exactly rocking right now. And he tacks on the extra point. So under three minutes to go in the second quarter and the score, Miami 27, Notre Dame nothing. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Number 82, back deep to return. And they'll be returning this one. Number five, has it at the five, breaks one. Not a whole lot of success their last time out. Not at all. This offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their breath. They'll set up shot at the 18-yard line. These fans aren't as rowdy as they were earlier, folks. He jukes them, and he's taken down. They keep it on the ground, and the halfback gets about seven yards. Second and three. Ball on the 25. The Irish go with the eye formation. Inside give. Brought down. A one-yard gain by the halfback. Third and two coming up here. Ball on their own 26. And the fans have quieted down. And they hit him in the backfield. And there's a penalty on the play. Let's see who it's on. Holding on the offense. Ten yard still. Miami calls a timeout. Third down and twelve to go. Ball on the sixteen. Him. And they got him for a loss. Miami takes a timeout. This place isn't exactly rocking right now. 
Number 19 gets it off. Number one fields it at the 44. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 40-yard line. These fans aren't as rowdy as they were earlier, folks. They'll throw on first down. Throw. And it's caught. Tackle. Well, Coach, a short pickup on that pass play. It was, but you know what? As long as they've got those guys getting open underneath, it'll take a lot of pressure off those offensive linemen who are trying to hold their blocks. Second and four. Ball on the 34. And the fans have quieted down. Looking, throw short. A hard throw, and it was dropped. He possibly could have taken something off that one, but hey, when you throw that way, your receiver still can make the catch. You're one step away from the big leagues, right, Coach? Kirk, you're absolutely right. The great ones will catch anything. It's third down and four to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. The fans are quiet, but I can't blame them. And they make the stop. Not much on that play, and they'll be short of the first. I think the offense thought they'd be able to get past this defense, but they were wrong. This place isn't exactly rocking right now. He gets it up. And he didn't get all of it. It falls short. They'll get the ball here at the 33. These fans aren't as rowdy as they were earlier, folks. Down the middle. Complete. What a catch. Notre Dame calls a timeout. First and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. And the fans have quieted down. Drops back to pass. Throws. They'll bring him down. Notre Dame takes a timeout. Second down and seven to go. Ball on the 43. The fans are quiet, but I can't blame them. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He's looking. Across the middle. And it's incomplete. He put too much on that throw. That's his big tight end, and he's definitely not a track star. I think the quarterback just overestimated his speed. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on the 43-yard line. This place isn't exactly rocking right now. He drops back. He steps up, looks, under pressure, going deep, lays it out there. He couldn't hang on to that one, guys. Well, I can't blame him for dropping that one. Did you see how hard that ball was going? Wow. These fans aren't as rowdy as they were earlier, folks. Drops back to pass. Steps up, looking, under heavy pressure. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. been total dominance here in the first half. Our score, Miami 27, Notre Dame nothing.
Notre Dame got the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that. <laughs> Number eight takes it at the 20. And now we'll see the offense coming out onto the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 26-yard line. And the fans have quieted down. And the snap goes to the back. And he's tackled. And he gets a yard on the run. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 27-yard line. The fans are quiet, but I can't blame them. He'll get it again. Tries to juke. Tackle. They'll get two on that one. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on the 29. This place isn't exactly rocking right now. He's looking. Steps up in the pocket. Going for the home run. Got a man. And he's taken down. Your reaction to that pass play, Coach? Well, anytime you get a first down, you're happy. But in this case, you get a first down and then a bunch of yards on top of that. Ha! You're ecstatic. First and ten. Ball on the 41. These fans aren't as rowdy as they were earlier, folks. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. And he's taken down. That's a gain of eight. It's second down and two to go. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. And the fans have quieted down. Back to pass. Aaron and out long. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Third and two, and this is the sixth play of the drive. The fans are quiet, but I can't blame them. They'll throw for the first. Across the middle. It falls incomplete. He overthrew his tight end. I know the tight end has a little more height than the wideouts, but give me a break. This place isn't exactly rocking right now. He pumped. Oh, he faked it. They couldn't convert that fourth down. But look at these guys out there. They're fired up. Now let's see if it's going to lead to any points. They'll set up shot at the 36-yard line. These fans aren't as rowdy as they were earlier, folks. On the ground, up the middle. They'll drop in for a loss. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Got an inadvertent face mask on the defense. Five yard penalty, second down. They'll call a five yard face mask penalty. He just wanted to make the tackle and grabs onto anything he can to make the play. During plays, accidents like that can happen. Second and five coming up here. Ball on their own 41. And the fans have quieted down. Setting up the play action. Someone got a hand on it. And it falls incomplete. Good pressure that time as they brought the blitz. Third and five. Ball on the 41-yard line. The fans are quiet, but I can't blame them. Throws it to the outside. Incomplete pass. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. Right. 
This place isn't exactly rocking right now. Didn't get all of that one. Number one calls for the fair catch. He hauls it in at the 34. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll start this drive at the 34-yard line. The Fighting Irish line up in a nickelback. He drops back. He steps up, looks. He gives a pump fake. He's going right. Knocked out of bounds at the 40-yard line. What do you think of that one, Mr. Corso? Well, I'm going to say that was a nice catch. He got a bunch of yards there, and that's going to spread this defense out a little. It's first and 10, ball on the 40. These fans aren't as rowdy as they were earlier, folks. Throws to the middle. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. Second and one. Ball on the 31. And the fans have quieted down. A little shake and bake move. They'll bring him down. Picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, nice job there. This guy does a good job of reading his blocks and accelerating through the holes. It's first and 10. Ball on the 20-yard line. The fans are quiet, but I can't blame them. Down the middle. Got it. And down he goes. First down, what a pass. Boy, that was a big time throw by the quarterback. He did a good job of taking what the defense gives him. This place isn't exactly rocking right now. They'll throw again. Defense hasn't stopped them yet. A big time play by the defense. Well, he just really overpowered the offense there. He simply used power to slide right through and come up with a pressure to bring down the quarterback. These fans aren't as rowdy as they were earlier, folks. Nice play fake. Short talk. And an outstanding play defensively. Yeah, he timed it perfectly and managed to get a hand in there to deflect the ball away. And the fans have quieted down. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Looking. Steps up. He's under pressure. Goes to the end zone. Touchdown, Miami. A great throw, and that's his second touchdown catch of the game. The quarterback knew exactly where to put the pass, and the receiver went out there and made the grab. Good communication. Fans are quiet, but I can't blame them. And he tacks on the extra point. Less than a minute remains in the third quarter with the score. Miami, 34. Notre Dame, nothing. Miami is ready to kick it away. Number five and number 82, deep to return. We should have a return on this one. Number five, fields it at the three. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll take over at the 24-yard line. 
This place isn't exactly rocking right now. Drops back to pass. Across the middle. Brought down. And they get the first down on that completion, Coach. That was a very nice first down conversion. The key to that play was the fact that the quarterback had plenty of time to look downfield. First and 10, ball on the 42. These fans aren't as rowdy as they were earlier, folks. On the ground, up the middle, spinning. And they make the stop. 10-yard pickup on the play. Second down and short. Ball right around midfield. And the fans have quieted down. And they hit him in the backfield. That time they came with the blitz and caused enough confusion up front, they were able to get to him. Unless we see some sort of miracle, this one's pretty much over. Heading to the fourth. Our score, Miami 34, Notre Dame nothing. It's third and inches. Ball right around midfield. The fans are quiet, but I can't blame them. Up the middle. He jukes, and he's taken down. And that'll be good enough to move the sticks. Yep, Brad. First and ten. Do it again. Pound the ball ahead. It's first and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. This place isn't exactly rocking right now. Again with a carry. And he stopped behind the line. The defense was all over that draw play. And they got very good containment on the halfback. He had nowhere to go with the football. Second and 11. This is the sixth play of this drive. These fans aren't as rowdy as they were earlier, folks. On the ground with the tailback. They'll bring him down. So the old draw play gets him a good seven yards. Nice play fake. He's looking. He's going left. Brought down. Nice play call to get him the conversion. When a team converts on third down, they can really frustrate a defense. When they converted third and long, it just makes them sick. First it's ten. first and 10. Ball, Ball on the 25-yard line. Yard line. The fans are quiet, but I can't blame them. Play action. Over the middle. It's deflected. The ball is knocked to the ground. Players use anything they can to get in the way of a pass. Second and ten. This is the ninth play of this drive. This place isn't exactly rocking right now. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Pressure coming. He passes it. Someone got a hand on it. That was a dangerous throw. No, oh, not a very good decision. He's got to either throw this one away or take a sack. You don't want to go back to the sideline and have a discussion with the old ball coach. But that had been an interception. drive the defense has been unable to stop them on third down these fans aren't as rowdy as they were earlier folks he's looking down the middle couldn't complete that one to his halfback he just needed a little less air under him. and the fans have quieted down Back to pass. Throws it to the outside. Incomplete. Well, Coach, at this point, they pretty much have to go for it every time. And that's what I like to see. Don't give up. 
keep playing hard till the final whistle. They'll go to work at the 25-yard line. First and 10. The fans are quiet, but I can't blame them. They'll go with a fullback. And he's tackled. They'll get nine yards on the play. Second and one, ball on the 34. This place isn't exactly rocking right now. Up the middle with a fullback, and they make the stop. Good run there. That time they gave it to the fullback, and he pounds it in there for a first down. Well, give an assist there to the offensive line. They gave him a good push up front. It's first and 10. Ball on the 36. These fans aren't as rowdy as they were earlier, folks. Again with a carry. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Nowhere to go on that play, Coach. Boy, you're absolutely right, Brad. This is a great job by the defense in not giving him any room to create anything. Second down and 12. Ball on their own 34. And the fans have quieted down. On the ground with the tailback. And he's taken down. Short little gain there, just trying to keep that clock running. Keep that clock running and keep that other offense right, off the field. Nine. It's third down and nine to go. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. The fans are quiet, but I can't blame them. He drops back. He wants it all going long. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. The drive stalls, and they'll have to punt it away. Punts the ball away. And this one's going to go out of bounds at the 39. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll set up shop at the 39-yard line. This place isn't exactly rocking right now. On the ground, up the middle. Juke move. They'll bring him down. And that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a good job by that big offensive line. No, it really was, Brad. And also a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running lane. First and 10, ball on the 50. These fans aren't as rowdy as they were earlier, folks. Drops back to pass, wants to throw outside, and he's tackled. How about that reception, Lee? A good throw, plus a nice catch, and some good blocking equals to a chunk of yards. That's exactly what you practice all the time, Brad. And the fans have quieted down. Up the middle. And they make the stop. Couple of yards there by the tailback on the counter. Congratulations to our players of the game brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone when performance matters the most. The fans are quiet, but I can't blame them. Throws it to the outside. Spin move. And down he goes. What a catch, and that's going to give him a first down. Well, that's a big play for the offense, but I think the defense needs to play a little bit tighter in the secondary. First it's first and ten. ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. 
This offense has a great scoring opportunity right now. Let's see if they can make the most of it. And it falls incomplete. And this one's all wrapped up. Any final thoughts on this one, Coach? I can't say enough about this performance. Miami played an excellent game out there, dominating on both sides of the ball. They've got to feel pretty good after blowing out a team like this. We here at EA Sports thank you for watching this game of NCAA Football 2005. The final count in this one, Miami 34, Notre Dame nothing. Brad Nessler for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit signing off. So long, everybody.